Hey, what's going on guys? For our next installment of 30 Minute Sisters Reviews, I figure we'll take a look at the two of these kits at once because they're both quite simple and they both, I think, kind of go together, I guess. So the sixth release in the line here is Lyranel and then the seventh is Lyranel. And as you can see, they're even kind of opposite colors, one being kind of a white and pink, the other one being black and pink for their color scheme. Quite cool kits, I think, and they're gonna be really cool together. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. Let's go ahead and start with the boxes. All right, so here for the box art, we have just a really nice character illustration right there on the front and then just kind of another larger version of that kind of lighter in the background and if you look closely you can really appreciate that illustration and also the fact that there's no hands it looks really weird that it doesn't have hands but I think that's just kind of part of how this one is when you have those armor pieces attached on there but it definitely looks a bit strange once you notice that going on to the side of the box here you can see this is number 06 and the color a if you guys are unfamiliar with the color system for this the color a just refers to the skin tone color so they have different uh, skin tones for these and rather than refer to them as like light dark or whatever They just refer to them as color a color B color C So that way if you want to kit bash you can know kind of what the colors are right out of the box if they're gonna match or not Going down here on the bottom of the box You can see the three pre-printed faces that we're gonna have included with this which is very nice to see uh, There's your expressions for those which are pretty nice It's a 130 millimeters in height when it's all built up So about 1 12th scale I believe roughly is what these are there's a look at some different photographs of some different poses there. This is obviously what they fully painted sample build. Yeah, and it just looks weird without the hands on there, but obviously we do have some hands included there. Those are and so different options here for the skirt. So interesting that they're including uh, skirt parts, alternate skirt parts for if you want to have her sitting down. That's something that you can definitely imagine that Bandai took the cue for that from the Kurobukiya Sosai Shoujo Teian line. Uh, how those kits usually have alternate skirt parts for if you want to have the figure sitting. And then a couple more detail shots over here showcasing the seamless design. So I guess some of these parts are going to not have seams on them, which is awesome. So yeah, if it's if, if kind of those are some of the directions that Bandai is taking for improvements to these kits, I'm fully behind that. Over here showing how you can, of course, customize this by mixing parts with the uh, 30 minutes uh, missions line, of course, to add some more armaments and things like that to them. And with that, let's go ahead and pop the box. I'll just blasted with a bunch of different colors there right off the bat. You got your multiple shades of pink, yellow, white, skin tone, all that right there. We'll go ahead and get to the runners in just a second, but first off the instruction manual here. You got the box art with some credits over here on the side. Always love to see that. And then some more shots here of the kit, just uh, that's of a painted sample, of course. This is just gonna be the same type of images that we saw on the outside of the box. Again, here about customization. And then here, just customizing with the 30 Minute Sisters kits, other 30 Minute Sisters kits, how you can swap the bodies, swap heads, arms, armaments, all that good stuff. On the inside here, the parts list is going to be in full color. And a part of the assembly here, while the inside of the manual is all gonna be just in black and white for the rest of the assembly. All right, getting into the runners then, here's face parts D number one. Number three, which is gonna be with the open mouth as a separate piece, that's a little bit kind of weird and off-putting as it is. And then number four, like that. I mean, looking really closely, you can see the uh, quality on these is really quite nice, so those look good. Then face parts D5 is the part for like kind of the back of the face and the ears, the neck parts right there in skin tone. For our hair, we've got HP F1, that'd be hair parts F1 in blonde or like a light yellow color anyway. Runner A is in four colors. You've got white, light pink, a little bit darker pink, and then a slightly different color pink right here. They're gonna be really similar and quite difficult to tell, but as far as I can tell, they do look like they're a really slightly different color here for those two. Runner B is just gonna be a bunch more parts here in white, including some of our hand parts down there at the bottom. Runner C here in pink, it's actually C2 and C3, is gonna be some of like those ring parts for in the arms and in the thighs. Runner D is some more skin tone parts, including those parts there for the thighs that are single piece, no sandwiching those together, so no seam lines on those, which is awesome. Runner E is some more parts here in white. Runner F, a few more parts there in pink, some of like the armor parts there. And lastly, Runner G is gonna be some more of the armor type parts here in white. All right then for the Laronel box, here is how that's gonna look. Very similar, of course. You got a very nice illustration here on this side of the character and her armor parts, which are kind of focused more on the legs while the Lyranel is focused more on the arms. Around on the side of the box, you can see this is number 07 and the skin tone color for this one is color B. Let's go around here to the top of the box where you can see the face option parts. So there's our three pre-printed face options we're gonna have for this, not too bad. 
nice set for those. And then you have the overall height of the kit is 130 millimeters in height. This is definitely going to be the smaller body type of the different body types that we have available in the 30 Minutes Sisters line so far. There you can see a few different action poses, the armored mode. Those are going to be your available armor kind of option parts sets, the options, option parts that you have included with this. And then you also have some hands, some hand options included. That's nice to see. And there's obviously the painted sample build. On the other side, we can see a little bit here about customizing this, of course, with different 30 minutes missions and other 30 minute sisters parts. So that's with the uh, Spinatia commando type right there. And with that, let's go ahead and pop the box. As you can see, a pretty thin box here again with this one. We'll take a look at the runners in just a second. Let's first just take a look here at the instruction manual. We've got our box art and credits there at the top. And then at the bottom, a bunch of the example poses and things we saw on the outside of the box. Same thing here on the back side, just again talking about customizing this. And then obviously you can mix and match with different 30 Minute Sisters parts as well, as you can see demonstrated there with the Lirinel Larinel. On the inside, there is our parts list and color and the First, well, it's more parts there, just kind of laid out for the different sections. And then, yeah, again, I love the little uh, chibi characters that kind of go along in the manual and kind of give you little tips as you're building. So that's really cool. The inside of the manual here, as you can see, all in black and white. For the later portion, the majority of the construction there is mostly all in black and white. And there you go. It can hold hands with the 30 Minute Sisters Lirinel Color A sold separately. Very cool. You just kind of lock the resting, open resting hands together and that's about it. But anyway, cool. Then getting into the runners here, starting off with our pre-printed faces. This would be face part D number one there. You can see it looks quite nice. Number two here for our kind of pouty face there. And this is actually part number four there for the angry open mouth face. And then face part D5 is going to be parts for the neck and the inside of the head there. For our hair parts, we've got HP F1. That would be hair parts F1 in this kind of off-white, very light gray color. Runner A is then in four colors here. We've got a, another skin tone part, it looks like, right there. And then some darker pink, some lighter pink, and black parts. Runner B is entirely in black, so a bunch of parts for the joints and hands. Runner C is actually kind of C2, and C3 is those uh, ring parts there in the upper arms and in the thighs. Runners D1, D2, D3 here is some more skin tone parts. Runner E here is some more parts in black for the limbs. Runner F is some more of the new parts here specifically for this character in that darker pink color. And then lastly, Runner G is some more parts here in black specifically for this release. And that's it. All right guys, so here they are all built up, Liranel and Laranel. Gonna be pretty familiar builds if you guys have ever built any of the 30 Minutes Sisters line so far in terms of the overall details, the design, the color separation, the articulation, everything like that. It's gonna all be pretty standard, but it'll be interesting to take a look at just kind of how these compare to each other, how they're similar, how they're different in terms of their parts and their designs, especially their option parts and how some of the option parts can be used interchangeably between the two. Of course, any of the option parts in the line can be used interchangeably between any of the kits. That's kind of the whole theme of the line, but we do have some cool options in here just with what you get packaged in with these kits and we'll take a look at that here in just a second but these are nice additions to the line and it's a cool concept to have like sort of twins or sister kind of kits to be coming out that are sort of the same opposite but they kind of go together it's a cool idea so let's go ahead and take a closer look so let's go ahead and start off with Lirinelle's accessories so for the face option part you actually have a piece to make her mouth in white instead of pink if you want it's just a leftover piece basically but I just thought I'd point that out to you guys and another fairly inconsequential piece but it might be useful for you guys is the adapter piece for putting this head onto a 30 minutes missions kit if you wanted to do that and we've got two of these little extra leftover pieces as well which are the same as what you can see right here on the front of her thigh and lower leg you have four of them you that you need but you get six in the kit so those extra ones you can just keep for a different kit bash or something and one of the most noteworthy additions to this kit that we haven't seen in any of the kits in the line so far is an optional part here for the skirt now what this does will allow you to bring the legs farther forward so for you wanted to have the figure sitting down or something like that as it is your forward movement of the legs is going to be blocked by this skirt part here so what you can do is just kind of do some disassembly, remove that part and just swap it out with the alternate one here. And that's going to look like so. And so, yeah, like I'm saying, then you can bring the legs all the way up to essentially 90 degrees with the body there. Now, it's still going to look a bit strange. It's not going to look quite right, but it does kind of fit a little bit better. Like I said, for example, if you wanted to have the character 
sitting or something like that, it works pretty well. So there's that. Next up, going back up to the top, we've got the optional piece for her head here, which gives her kind of this like headband, uh, ear covers, and these bunny ears kind of look like this. And like all of the kits in the line, it does have this piece right here, which fits into the top of the head, which is removable for other different option parts and parts from other kits if you want to do kit bashing. That just gives you a gap for plugging on different parts onto the head right there, so you can still do that. You can still use those parts from other kits if you wanted to. But that's going to look like that, swapping out that part for the head. Here at the upper arms, we've got these armor pieces, which you can put on there. You could put them either pointing down or pointing up. According to the manual, though, it has them pointing upwards like this. That's how that's gonna look on the shoulder. The nice point of that is that it also gives you another hard point right there if you wanted to plug even more stuff onto the kit, additional weapons or accessories or armor or something like that. We've also got similar pieces here for the legs. You can swap out that ring part there in the thigh for this one, which will give you a, a male hard point for plugging stuff onto there if you wanted, but we don't have anything with this kit that you can use uh, to put onto there. And speaking of option pieces, you also have this connection piece here, which will plug into her back, either up there or down there, wherever you might want. Also, notice the bunny motif carried onto her outfit as well there, and also here on the chest, of course. But as I was saying, yeah, this piece can be attached onto different areas on the kit, not even the back, I mean, you could attach this onto the side of the leg or wherever if you wanted to, but it's just like kind of a multi-attachment piece that you can plug more stuff onto if you want. And then of course we have her option arms. Now, as I pointed out on the front of the box, it's quite strange that uh, for the arms, it has these to be used without the hands and it's quite strange. But if you look, these are of course also bunny shaped. Well, they look a bit like a kind of like a Cyclops bunny with one eye. And instead of like buck teeth, this looks like three big teeth, like one big center tooth and two on the side there. It's like a kind of weird robot cyborg rabbit kind of thing but in use on the kit it's gonna look like that and it's not like immediately noticeable that she doesn't have hands it looks like it's just like a thing that's fitting over her hand sort of like a samus like a metroid arm blaster kind of looking thing that said if you did want to have hands in there i think they should still fit it's going to be a little bit tight to fit in kind of because of that uh because of how those parts go yeah uh, no actually i thought that the hand would fit into that hole but actually the hole is slightly too large so you could you would just have to add a little tape or a little glue or something just wrap around this to make it a little bit larger or modify it in some way to make this peg a little bit larger to fit into there or make that hole smaller whichever one you wanted to do and then you could have the hand in there but as it is yeah the hand actually doesn't fit into there interestingly enough and on that note our different hand options are going to include closed fists open resting hands open expressive hands holding hands like so with a square hole in them and then of course our option faces look quite nice you have a nice range of expressions for those or those two along with the third one here which i've got on the kit there at the moment and that's it for lirinelle as for Laranel, we've got a lot of the same option parts uh, and some different ones as well. So we've got like the same connection parts here for the thighs, the same ones up here for the upper arms as well as this one doesn't have any upper arm uh, armor or attachment parts or anything like that included with this set. What this does have is uh, sets here for the wrists. What well, this is just an armor piece which just attaches onto the wrist right there like that it actually goes like this this way and that kind of fits over the hand you take off the hand slide this over the wrist pop your hand back into place and again all the same hand option parts with this one and that just fits over the hand like that now you do also have this option piece now this piece is for connecting this armor together with the arm armor here from Lirinel, and that's for making the combined form which looks like this and we'll take a look at that once we get to checking out some poses with the kit but for our head accessories for this one, our option is going to be uh, long hair out the back, which will match uh, your Lirinelle, so you can make it to have the same hairstyle, or you can keep it short like this. And we also have a set of bunny ears here as well. Now these ones aren't the ones that has like the full headset like Lirinelle. Only going to be taking advantage of that slot there on the top of the head, as I was mentioning about. You just take out that little piece, and you can pop those right into there like that. We've got the same connection parts here for the back and for the neck. And then our option legs, which are very cool. So these are, and then our option legs here, which are very cool. You can see you have a hard point there under the foot if you wanted to add something there. And for this, of course, just a simple matter of just popping off the leg below that pink ring there at the thigh. 
blending that onto there like that. It's a pretty cool look. I like this knee armor and this kind of wing here on the side of the foot. And then you can remove that as well. And this can just be a handheld weapon. That's just a handle right there. And this is sort of like a sword type weapon. I mean, you could hold it like that way if you wanted to. It seems a bit weird. Probably going to hold it like this. And other than that, then we've got her face options, which again, give you a pretty nice mix of expressions there. There's those two and the one that I've got on the kit at the moment. So very cool. So, all right, so taking a look at some different poses here with the two kits, both together and separate and also combined, I think this is a really cool set. As I mentioned earlier in the review, I think it's a really cool idea that, you know, for in addition to the line, they made two kits that kind of go together as like twins or sister type kits. I definitely think it would have been interesting if Bendai would have released these as a set, kind of all this entire set all kind of all bundled together as one set of Lirinelle and Laranel as one single model kit. But of course, some people are only going to be interested in one over the other, or maybe they want two of one and one of the other, or whatever the case may be. Bendai is going the route with this line. I mean, as it's very clear now at this point that they release everything kind of a la carte, and then you can just kind of, you know, get whatever you want. And there's not really going to be a whole lot of like bundling of anything. So you have like your main kit, your option sets are separately, the option hair parts are separate, the option face parts are separate. So they've released it like that. And I mean, it's kind of. On the one hand, it's annoying to have to buy all this stuff separately, but on the other hand, it allows you to get you know, only what you're really interested in. That said, if you guys are interested in, in some more of the different option parts, in the next video, we're gonna be taking a look at a bunch of the recent option parts that have been releasing for this line, so stay tuned for that if you guys are interested. But these two make a really good set. Now, whether you wanted you know one or the other, I think having both of them is really nice because the combining that you can do between the two is really fun. Sort of like a Megami device kit where you have the option of building it either, either as like the fully armed form or the unarmored form. With this one, if you buy both of the kits, you can make one of them as the full armed form and you can keep one of them as the like low armor form. You can do something like that basically, which I think is a kind of cool idea. But let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about these two releases in the 30 Minute Sisters line? And if you guys are interested in picking up these sets or any of the other option sets or anything like that, uh, for this line or for 30 Minutes Missions or anything else from Bandai, really, you guys can check the link in the video description to USA Gundam Store. Check that out. And thank you guys so much for checking out the video here today. If you'd also like to like and or subscribe while you're here, that would be appreciated. But thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you guys are all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.